Hey everybody, this is Hofstrom. Welcome back for another Star Wars Destiny video using the new Convergence cards. Today I'm going to be playing against the Jigglypunk. He's going to go ahead and be playing a deck that he wants to test for regional, so he'll be playing, you know, current, standard, but I'm still doing the Convergence uh, stuff here. Uh, for this video, we're going to go with Ayla, and she's going to pair up with K2SO. So we got a 13 point Ayla, we'll have a 14 point K2SO, and that gives us three points so that we can execute long term plan. Uh, my thought with long term plan here is to uh, use it to abuse K2SO's uh, discard shield and resource sides. This deck's going to be a little difficult um, coming up with resources and stuff. Shields will definitely help it uh, extend to the long game. Um, and then, of course, his discard side can be devastating when timed correctly. And then, of course, with Ayla, we've got the special side. We can turn his dice to whatever side we feel that we need at that time. But we're also going to be running with the new blue abilities that were spoiled. The Force Pull, the Sarisu Training, and the Sarisu Mastery. Those are all in the deck as well. So we're going to have a good chance to play them for the first time as well. I'm really excited. I think that Ayla's special uh, will be good for pairing with those. Of course, you know, Yoda's probably going to be the best pair for those, but Ayla's got damage sides, and she's got more reliable um, numbers on her die for using with K2SO's ability if we need to. Of course, though, likely uh, outcome is that K2SO is going to power action his own die in order to get soft mitigation. So with Ayla Secura's special side, with K2SO's power action, we're looking at a pretty decent set of soft mitigation. Uh, this deck's going to be playing a lot of defense early game in order to ramp our resources and get going so that we can extend long enough to get our long-term plan up and going. Uh, my opponent's already done his thing, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up, draw my five and do my mulligan. So we see the... Sarisu training already. We have Steadfast. We're going to keep that in the opening hand. Force Wave isn't doing us much right now. And I don't want to do Raise Lightsaber right now. So we'll send those back. Get a new two. And that's good. This is really good. Um, I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and do our, uh, our roll off here. I got a... I got four. Okay. Um, the question is, is how fast are we going to be that we can steal this away from him? That's going to be the real question. Um, I like Outer Rim Outpost, but I think I want the shields. So we'll take his, actually. It'll be a good test to see. This will just be a good test to see what's going on. So we'll take the shields. We'll just go one and one for now, because I don't know who his target's going to be. All right. I'm guessing he's just going to rock and roll that resource and then get himself going. Yep, there it is the good old reliable X8 into a dropping in. That's what I was afraid of that, you know, but hey, this is a test game. We're just trying out some fun new stuff here. And see, then of course there's always that result that he could just end up not getting much of anything. And if he rolls in Kira, then we can hit him with mitigation hard right off the bat. And all that ambush, all that action shooting didn't do him much good. Yeah, see, there he goes already. Yep, that's fine. Let's see what he gets. Okay. Now, he's got a bait-and-switch target here, so he could punch three. Um, he's got two discards. You know, if he punches three, we can just hit Steadfast. So let's just go ahead and see what he does. Let's go ahead and just get our long-term plan up. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and just do that. Uh, 
I want to see what he does. Yeah, see, we've already we've already taken a decent piece of mitigation away from him just by playing slow. Oh, see, and then there we go. So he he has the resource for that. He can get three resources. One, two, I need four resources. So let's go ahead and. If I make him reroll those two, he could possibly end up on three. He could still he could end up being I mean, the worst case scenario is is he ends up back on it for three, four, five again. But I don't really want to. Uh, let's go sound the alarm and just see what happens. Yeah, see there we go. Now if he wants to ramp, he could ramp all he wants. Because, I mean, all that money is, is fine, but it's not damaged, and we're playing the defense game as we planned on it. Okay, see, and then we'll force him to spend a resource here to flip that over, and then we can hidden mode of it away. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's let K2SO, let's get K2SO out there, because his dies are the ones we want to power action, so we can soft mitigate as well. Yeah, there we go. We got two we can deal, and we have a one that we can soft use, use for soft mitigation. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm more than okay with that because he's gonna do no damage this round. Uh, I mean, our our steadfast kind of got shut off a little bit, but that's that's fine. Um, yeah, let's tie it. Let's let's. Pump this baby out. Yeah. And then we'll hit motive. Okay. And if he wants to pay another resource and reset it, he's just going to basically burn all those resources. Passing there seems like it's very surprising though. Oh, see, and it's not going to help you, buddy. It's not going to help you. That pass may have been that. Pa that pass may not have been good for you. Let's target Han since he's got the upgrade. Oh, he's just not even going to bother. He wants to keep all that money. Oh, he's probably gonna spam weapons. Okay, well let's uh, let's put two shields onto K two, so we can possibly move him into targeting Ayla for our steadfast. I feel like that was a very successful round one for us. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Solid, absolutely solid. Fine. At this point, that's not helping him that much. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna do that. Okay. Um, let's let's roll out K two again. Let's get our soft mitigator out there. Okay. <laughs> Naturally. It's cards he has to play though. It's cards he's playing. Yeah. Let's we'll see if he has any more. I'll have to re-roll that one. Okay, two indirect is good. They'll probably put it on the Kira, of course, but that's fine. All right, let's see what he ends up rolling in fast dancing. I feel like two damage is coming our way. Yep, looks like two damage is going to come our way. Yep, that's fine. That's what we wanted. We wanted him to target Ayla first.
Let's go to indirect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's interesting. That is really interesting. Okay. He wants to flip that to the damage. Okay. We'll hidden motive it again. Back to back hidden motives on the X8. And there it goes away. That time we got it. We'll pacify the three. She's not our target right now. He can take three dollars if he wants to. There's the bait and switch. Now the next question is, is do we re-roll and try to hit damage? Do we, or do we just keep these three cards, take initiative? I feel like that's what we want to do. I feel like we want to take, take the battlefield, take the initiative away from him. Uh, and then we've got three pieces of mitigation and four resources online. So let's do that. That'll, I'm sure that's going to surprise him. And then he's not going to know what's coming. Okay. So here's... That's some surprise kill right there. Okay. We want to possibly use this, so let's go ahead and roll K2SO out again. If we hit a shield side, then we can go to three shields. Oh, discard. That could that could be rough. Okay, which one is he going to take, though? Oh, he's going to take them both, isn't he? Okay. Okay. Any of these, you can you can make me play any of them. I'll play any of them at any time. Okay. I'll pass until you roll out something that's worth doing. To indirect, make me lose the resource. Okay. Okay. Well, let's take the resource then. So we get our Sarisu mastery back, or Sarisu debilitating slash back online. So he's just gonna reroll. So 
two more indirect. Now we're going to start putting them on K2. Okay. Um, he has money for easy pickings. But he has to have the easy pickings and then he can't re-roll. So let's live dangerously. And see if he has it. I don't think he does. Okay. Okay. We're good with that. So, four. Then two more. Take a shield. And then we can literally first action steadfast. And so he's going to have to have action cheating to get Han to do stuff. Otherwise, Han's dead. Okay, Han's dead. Han's dead, he gets one redeploy. What are you going to fast hands? Okay. I'm going to take it right off and kill him. All right, so he's definitely going to outpace us now. Okay. What would you like to take? Yep, uh, it seems like that's probably the best choice. That, of course, gives us back the initiative here. Whoops. That gives us the initiative back to get K2 out. Yep. Shows up. Okay. Pay me off. Then you have to pay me one, then you have to pay one. I mean that gives me that gives me lightsaber money now, doesn't it? Um, but I don't want to pay it on her though. Let's get her out. Where did our force jump die go? We're missing a die here somewhere. Where did we where did it go? Uh, there it is. Where did it go? So we're gonna get her out. That way if we hit a we need to, if we get a special on the jump. Okay. Okay. We got a shield showing, which is good. We can extend Ayla. Okay. If he's got bait and switch, so let's do it. Now's the time to do it. We're going to go ahead and take... Nope, that's... Nope, that's not right. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Wrong guy. So now I can't bait and switch the kill. He's gonna remove this one. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's deal two back to you. Okay. 
he uh, he had a very bad turn outside of using my own die against me. So let's do that. That gets us a card draw to see what we get. Oh, that's that's interesting. Of course, it can only be on a blue character, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, logistics doesn't help me right now. Okay. Let's do the one. Let's take a shield over here. And let's spend the one. Get that out of my hand as well. And then go into the next round. And I don't I don't want this either. Uh, I want to try to dig for more mitigation at this point. More cards equals better chance for mitigation. Yep. There it is. Of course, this is a dead card. This might be decent because it's going to be redeploy. You can literally stick it over that Sarisa training if I want. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's got to hit. I think he's got to hit like pretty close to the nuts here in order to kill Ayla. And that is not the nuts. That is not the nuts, my friend. That is pitch a card and reroll time. Oh, she's just gonna let it go. Okay. All right. Um. Do I want? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's save the money for now. Let's roll out Ayla. She's the one who's the target. And then if we hit. This awesomeness. This is some stone cold. That is cold. That is stone cold right there. That is a stone cold roll. <laughs> Man. Talk about mitigation when you want it. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. That's a that's a solid play. That is a solid play for my opponent. I'm gonna let him know. All right. Uh, but that that makes me feel like K2 has probably got some legs here. Wow, that feels like a hyperspace jump. That feels like a hyperspace jump. So let's let's force him to do it. Uh, I don't care about the money as much as I do care about the shields. So let's go just to this. And if he wants to pay me off again, he can. Yep. Yep. Uh, resolve one, remove one of your yellow dice. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Okay. You have to do it to him or to her? To her? Okay. Um... Ooh. I don't, I'm not worried about her dying anymore, S at least not this round. So let's power action K2. Let's take a free reroll here. And then no rerolls on anything. There's no reason to. Yep, exactly. And that gives us... The ability to punch four. And then we can re-roll this. There it is. Found the shield. Cool. That was another just solid round for this deck. 
just another solid round. Um, I don't need that, and I don't need this, and I don't need this either. Oh, yep. And then you can drop a weapon. Here comes a weapon. Yep. Whose shield is it going to take? Okay. The free one that I had from last round. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, he still has one more bait and switch that's out there yet. He has one more bait and switch out there. So I don't want to leave this the way it is. Yeah. Um, I could debilitate him. I could, I could deflect him, slash that one away, and then all he can do is three. Uh, he could do three. So one, two, three, eight. Yeah, let's do that. Let's deflect and slash that one. God, that is so much amazing tempo. Look at that roll. Look at that roll. Is he going to do it again? Oh, there's the other easy pickings. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't he, he doesn't like that at all. He doesn't like that one bit. Um I've not still not seen my Cerisa master yet for the spe for the special here. Um uh, give a character two shields. Yeah. So we have two shields we can just put on. So let's let's literally do that. Let's just put the two shields on for right now and play some defense and just wear them out. I mean, we're grinding them out here. We're grinding them out. So again, it looks like he's back on either uh, going with a hyperspace jump or hitting me with another like reversal type card. So let's play some offense here, force him into it. Okay. We're going to force that hyperspace out of him. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Let's make him pitch his hand. Yep. And there's the hyperspace. There's the hyperspace. Okay. Um. Oh. That should have been rolled out as well. So that's on me. Um, uh, force pull is super terrible right now. Late in the game is not good. And there's that. Okay. So we'll deal two more. And then we'll take a shield. And let's overwrite this with that. And then let's re-roll this and see if we can find another shield. And there it is. So we have a fully shielded up team. I have a redeploy weapon out. And did I spend my dollar? You know what? I'm just going to... I don't remember if I did, so I'm just going to say that I didn't. There's the Sarisu Mastery. And we kept, we were able to keep our beguile in hand, which is that's that's solid right there. Get him the re-roll on that one. You can have all the money you want. Um, uh, that die should be out of here. You know what? Let's see if we roll like a bunch of specials again. Yep, there's one, but only one this time. No hitting me with pickings on that. Bait and switch all you want. You'll get five in, won't be enough. Uh, what is that? Oh, he's just going to reroll. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, four damage, four damage, four damage. So let's turn to a special and a blank. And then your turn. That's all I'm going to do. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I figured there was another re there was another rebel out there, which is why we didn't. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna make him do it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep. We knew that was coming. Um. And that's 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 all of them. Uh, wait, what does he have over here? Okay, he doesn't have a discard showing. Okay, so we're fine there. There we go. That's literally game. If you can't deal with it. Oh, jerk, jerk. What a jerk move, dude. <laughs> can't, can't blame him, but yeah. All right. I mean, how many cards did he have left in his deck? Does he have just like one card left? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think at this point that makes more sense. We'll just, we'll just wreck his hand. And then he's down to like literally his last card. Um, play this out. And I have four left, so I'm going to do this. See if we get lucky, hit a special or not. Uh, that would be fine. That's fine. What's with this bunching? Bunch, 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 bunch. Play that last card out if you want. Yep. He's all in. He is all in to find 12 damage. And that is game. I mean, <laughs> we played quite a bit of defense, just like we talked about. I mean, we talked about the fact that the deck was going to have to play quite a bit of defense. Um, thank you to my opponent, the Jiggly Punk. Um, he definitely played a great game, definitely sniping the kill off with one last copy of Bravado. So very good on my opponent. He definitely caught me in some situations, but so that's that's K2SO. I mean, we only used his power action one time, and it was basically just to try to find damage. But this pairing was really good, and I honestly think that this is legit. I, I think that this is legit here. I don't think it's like tier one necessarily, but I mean, we just we just handled a heavy aggro action cheating deck that can deal tons of damage. Um, and we handled it like super nicely. So, uh, yeah. So any thoughts, suggestions, comments, criticisms, please leave them in the comments. Please like, and subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm getting new subscribers each day now, and it's such a wonderful feeling, uh, that you guys are watching this and enjoying it. I mean, that's my biggest goal is, you know, to put out quality content. So, uh, I hope that I'm getting better with each episode that I'm putting out here and that the quality of the product I'm putting out is getting better each time. So again, subscribe to my channel, please. I would love it. So uh, thanks to the Jackalman Games for putting out these uh, 
just awesome stuff. I mean, it, it still just amazes me what these guys are able to do, you know, putting these proxies out so quickly. So, all right. Uh, I think that's it. And uh, thanks for watching.